Okay, now we're going to do the uh, round key fob using the walnut and this time with the optional crown knot. Uh, we've got our finished product right here, looking pretty good. And over here we've got tools that we're going to use. So, and I've already got the center point for this cord here, so let's get started. So, just take your two different colors of cord, make an X with them. And then uh, whichever one's on the bottom, use that to cross over the top and then cross over the top again. So your project looks like that. And then take this guy and go over and then under. And the same thing over and under over here. As soon as I get this through this loop, I'll move my big fat thumb so you can see. So then this one came over and then under and then pull that tight. Let's work it into a square shape and the first knot is done. So take a look at that. It should look like a nice square there and then underneath it looks like that. So working from the top, last time whenever we <coughs> to do the square knot wall knot, you take the, see how the project is coming from this side and going over, you, well you would lay it just straight over like that. This time we're not going to lay it straight over. This time instead of going on this side of the cord, you're going to go to that side of the cord. So instead of going straight over itself, it's kind of going more of a diagonal towards in, from the square part of the box there. So, and then flip that side over, kind of diagonal. And then this is still always over under. And the same thing with this guy, over under. And see how this time the knot kind of turns sideways to the knot that you just tied on the underneath it when you tighten it. Get it nice and firmly tightened and then do the same thing. You can, it doesn't matter, just like with the walnut, it doesn't matter, or with the square one, it doesn't matter which side you start with the, or which color, the um, this one or the this one. So uh, fold it across again and then across again just like before and then just keep repeating the same pattern over and over until it's as long as you want it or until you run out of cord. I'm going to do this until I run out of cord. Just like with last time, I'm not going to show you me tightening the whole tightening the whole thing. But I want to get at least three or four of these tightened and then kind of show you what my work looks like so you can compare it to yours so that you can kind of tell if you're doing it right or not. So then one more of these. tell that this is kind of starting to wind in a spiral pattern making this a rounder knot than the first one which is obviously a square pattern okay, okay so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish tying this up I'll show you maybe again what it looks like at the midway point so you can compare it to yours again and then again when I get ready to finish because then I'm going to show the uh, the crown knot guys I'm probably at the midway point or getting close to it I just wanted to show you again how you can see how this one here is our first knot that we tied or square walnut and this one is going to be the rounder one you can see how it's getting a nice spiral pattern going with the knot tying and, and the uh, it's definitely not square here it has a much more round feel 
We'll get back to you when we're ready to tie the crown knot in just be a few minutes. Okay guys, once you've gotten to the point where you've got two more comfortable lengths of cord to, enough to tie two more walnuts, then uh, then get to this point. You can see that I've built kind of that knot up by continually tying that pattern over again. I really like when you use two contrasting colors of cord how you get a nice spiral effect from this. Now we're going to do the walnut to finish this thing off. <coughs> and how you do it is you do one knot just like you've been doing. Start off by going not across but diagonal and then diagonal over this one and then over under here and then same thing the other side over under only this time just pull it snug don't pull it tight so you've got this not about like this going here and you can see how there's kind of a clockwise spiral or I'm sorry a counterclockwise spiral to this so in other words this strings coming out of here and going this way this one's going this way so you want to continue that pattern so if your knot is being tied this way then take one cord and we're going to go around this guy and then up through the center so around him and then up through the center tighten these as needed as you're going around and then do the same thing with the next one in the counterclockwise spiral it's going to go under this guy and then up through the middle same thing with the next one around that guy and then up through the middle around that guy and then up through the middle the last one's kind of tricky sometimes it looks gets kind of confusing then you get a big mess of knots but they should all be coming up through that center of the last knot that you just tied and then you just start pulling them tight snugging these guys down and if you have an awl or some kind of tool like that now is generally a good time to start using it to pull these knots in shape but just work your knot tight see where it's starting at and then pull it tight all the way around and you'll work that crown knot that you just tied tighter and tighter to the top of the last walnut knot that was on there <coughs> so it's starting to come into shape pretty good Take this one up a little bit more. And I'm just about ready to call that a good crown knot. So then when you're done, you get a nice kind of a lumpy, almost sort of Turk's head looking knot here at the at the very end of your spiral or round wall knot there. And but all the cords are coming very nicely out of the middle of the knot instead of sticking out the ends now, which I really like. And you can almost have this be the end of your knot right here. Just cut it off or something, and you're done. This one um, don't really is if you tie this knot here really tight, just keep working it and keep working it. And then uh, you can tie this so tight that it's really not necessary to either sew this down or. Um, um, melt it right next to the core either but I like to anyway just that's my thing I like to sew this stuff because I like to think that when I make something that's going to be around for a while so on this one I like to sew right next to where the crown knot stops at the top just go th back and forth through the different strands five or six times right next to the top of that crown knot you'll barely be able to see this thread if you choose a color that's anywhere similar to the two cords you're already tying 
and if you tie it really tight or close to the top of that crown knot it'll be virtually invisible anyway so you don't need to worry about it once you're done tying this or sewing this down there's several ways you can go about finishing the knot and I'll go over most of them or at least some of them not most of them there's there's probably an infinite way an infinite way to go once you're done here you're limited pretty much only by your imagination so finish tying that down take your little thread snips if you have any snip that bad boy off then take your lighter melt that thread down kind of tamp it next to the work with your finger then I like to burn the end of my thread again and let it uh, mold into a little glob that's my stopper for the next project I tie like that okay so now what you can do with this is you can cut these guys off right here if you want to like about an eighth of an inch out from the top of that crown knot if you wanted to and then melt them all down with this just melt it and then you can kind of just kind of pat it down with a lighter or something else a block of wood or something anything like that to kind of round the top of it off I'm not going to show you that one another thing you can do that I saw that was pretty sharp maybe on JD's page or something like that somewhere he finished a knot similar to this and he just cut these guys all off at a diagonal like that there's nothing wrong with doing that I'm going to cut these off flush and then just uh, he just singed the ends there and that's done and it's kind of like a neat little tassel thing I'm going to actually attach the, uh, the little lighter guy here to the top of this now or maybe I'm not <laughs> oh yeah here I'll use my handy Keep the stats to get this bad boy started just to make it go under that first cord on the top And now you can attach other keys to that or this to other keys or whatever and you get yourself a little light on the end of your key fob. And you could call that done if you wanted to. Uh, another way to do it is to take a tool and, and unravel this weave, the outside weave on, the, on these cords here. And then uh, clip off the white strings and then brush it all down and it makes a pretty cool tassel. I think I'm going to leave this one just like this. Ta-da! Alright, great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first tutorial. Uh, we're going to continue this with another project yesterday that uses this knot and do something a little bit more advanced. And at that time, I'll be doing the giveaway. So um, stay tuned for that. A random drawing from the uh, people that are subscribed to my channel will be the lucky winners of this project. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.